Hi guys, it's Kay Comer in here with you this morning, and we're going to try to see if in a week's time, working a little bit each day, if we can each make one of these little mini books. Um, I don't buy a lot of supplies. What I have, what I use mostly are the things that I have, but, um, and I've tried to make tutorial videos to where I do the things in front of you, but I, I don't know how to stop, and my camera evidently doesn't have a pause according to the book, <laughs> so um, it just wasn't working out that way. So anyway, um, this is the book I'm going to be working on this week, and um, we'll see where we go. I just have the front done. And the inside page, I don't even have the inside page done. And then I have some little pages like this. This is just black cardstock out of the bag at Hobby Lobby. And I have sanded it. You can kind of see there where I roughed it up. But uh, most of that's going to be covered up anyway. Uh, the fabric that I've used here is from Hobby Lobby. Um, so let me just show you how I start out. I start out with a piece of paper like this or any kind of paper, the homemade paper, you know, an envelope. And I dunk them, let me see if I can get this up here, in this tub. I set this tub in the sink and I pour what's left over of the coffee every morning in this tub. And then I dunk these papers one at a time and I don't let them soak, not even a second. I don't even turn loose of them. I just run them through Put them on the cookie sheets. I have three cookie sheets, and I even stack them in the oven. And I bake these papers for uh, on 350. I use them on 350, um, and bake them for about two minutes. I just stand right there because it, I don't want to anything to happen. So this is the envelope before. This is the envelope after. It's just dunked, not soaked, just dunked and baked in the oven. Let me put that in here. This is a couple of pieces of the paper. This is just copy paper. This is the copy paper after it's been baked. There's two sheets there to show you that it isn't just a one-time thing. It does this every time. Now, some people may not like it this grungy. That's fine. I love very grungy, very vintage. This is the homemade paper before it's dunked. And this is the homemade paper after. So you see the difference there. Um, the way, uh, some of you may not be getting it dark like you're wanting it to be. I'm going to set this over here and just as I show you things, I'm going to put them in that because I've got a mess here. Um, oh, this is also a piece of uh, tissue paper. Now you know what a piece of white tissue paper looks like out of the package that you're going to stick in a gift bag. So now tissue paper is kind of hard to work with. See, it tears very easily. But this is tissue paper after it's been baked. So I'll put that over there. And let's see. But after I do that step, I take, I do all my papers, anything that I need done. Then I do all of my, my uh, laces. Um... This is before, this is just a piece of, from Hobby Lobby. This is after I have dunked it and baked it. Uh, this is, I don't have a before and after, but this is one that I've just baked. Uh, here's some, um, just some laces uh, and things. Um, creepy cloth. I don't know if anybody else is using the creepy cloth or not. I found this when I was doing a, a a display at church for Halloween a couple years ago and I found it at Dollar Tree and it came in a big package just uh, three or four yards in a big package for a dollar and uh, now I'm finding it on Amazon uh, and it's four or five dollars I think but uh, you get you still get four or five yards so and I do the same with that um, I with this I use my little dabber let's see I'm gonna get myself confused here um, so many things all the laces, I lay everything out. I do mine at the kitchen table. Doilies, I just collect doilies. I have all sizes. This is the embroidery thread that I sometimes use in the middle of these books. I'll just put several pages together and I'll come up in the middle here with one stitch, go down here, come back up the end here, go back down and stitch with that. 
and I use the embroidery thread and I also um, I stain that with my little dabber here which I'll show you in just a minute uh, the pages this is the way I make the little books that have the little bows down the side I just tear pages out and this is paper that has been um, uh, already uh, baked in the oven now some of this paper is really really old because these books are really really old so sometimes you'll bake it and go to all the trouble and then it will crumble on you <laughs> so we'll put that back over there uh, this is just some more little books sometimes when I'm we're sitting watching TV if my husband has a race or something on I'll just get some paper and sit down and make some little books and let me show you here um, sometimes I will dab all the pages before um, and I put just a little thing with one of my uh, punches on the corner there but um, this is the stain that I started out using I don't like this stain I like the Tim Holtz stain but I don't like these little cubes because they're not worth two cents they don't last no time so I put a paper towel a folded paper towel in the lid of my um, cube I put a few drops of this in there on the paper towel I put just a couple of drops of water on there and then I take my dabber and I just start dabbing the book let me see is this going to show or do I have enough light I'm not sure see how that does and just go around the whole book and you do every page that way even the thread and then I open the page, open the book, and I do the same thing to the inside. Um, this is called a dauber or something, dabber or dauber, and I get them in a package at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't like that big square thing. I see a lot of people using that big square thing, but I don't care for that myself. I like these little sponges. I also bought a package the other day of three little sponges. I haven't used any of these, but that's the way I distress the outside of these little books. And I do the books in all sizes, just all sizes. And I just, some, some I cut and some I tear. Um, this is an old book. Now I'm just going through right now and showing you some things that I use and telling you a little bit how you how I do it and then I'm going to turn you loose. We'll just be here a minute today and then I'm going to turn you loose and see what you can do. Some of you, uh, like Carol, my goodness, she did such a good job she couldn't wait so she made a little book. She did such a good job on that book. But uh, this is just another little book that I've just torn and, uh, you know, that hasn't been distressed or anything inside either. So, um... And then here's another one. It's just the same thing. I mean, it's just ready, waiting to do. Uh, this is one that I've made out of the homemade paper, and I've punched the holes, and I just really distressed some of the rags, left that open so you can see there's three. I put three holes down the side, and they match up when you start putting it in there. They'll match up okay. There's some doilies. I use a lot of those doilies, and they come in a package at Hobby Lobby, and I use my um, coupon to get those. There's just some quotes and things in there that I just... Just all kinds of stuff. Haven't done anything with this book, but it's ready and waiting. Okay, let's see. Got the books. These little doilies I get in a package at uh, Dollar Tree. And I don't know how many is in that package, but, you know, there's 10 or 20 or 30 in there, and they're a dollar. So I get those there. Um, let's see. Uh, I type words on paper, uh, and I do different sizes. This is a small one that I have here. Love one another, pray without ceasing, all things are possible, only believe. This obviously is for the church book. So I do words. My daughter put um, some kind of thing on the computer because I don't know anything about computers. But she put some kind of thing on there so I have different fonts. So I can even see an, um, a quote that I like somewhere and have a, find a font that is just almost identical to that and do that font. Okay, so let's see what else here. This is some little bags. Um, I don't even know where I got them, uh, but I distress them. And I usually put one of my uh, kindness rocks in here and the little quote that goes with the kindness rocks and just put them in the books that I make um, that I sell and give it away uh, or sell or give away. Uh, this is just some odds and ends that I have. 
that I use on my books. There's the little flowers. They come in a package at Hobby Lobby. They're Paper Studio. Um, they're on sale every other week, or you can use your coupon and get them anytime. Some pens that I've rusted. Uh, and to rust the, anything, I, I don't do the long extended thing like other people do. I put them on a paper plate. I mix some vinegar, white vinegar, and um, hydrogen peroxide, just like you would put on a cut. Uh, mix it in a bottle, shake it up. Uh, put this stuff on a paper plate, spray it, and go put it in the sun. I go back and spray it again in an hour or so, and you've got some rusted stuff. doesn't take any time. There's some of the little uh, uh, words that says love one another that I've already distressed. Love. You know I love the word love. You can't use the word love too much. Old hymns. Love always. Love, 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 love. <laughs> There's some lily of the valley, some old buttons, just uh, all these flowers. They come in a big package at Hobby Lobby. There's just some old rings I found in the junk drawer. So I, I, uh, uh, what did I do? I rusted them. Okay, this is just an image. Love this image. I bought a calendar with these in it years ago. Uh, in fact, I bought that calendar at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is Bessie P's Gutman prints and, um, uh, I just love that because I love piano and I love to set the piano and sing. So, and that's a little bitty girl. And we've, my sisters and I have been doing that since we were little bitty girls. So, I love that. So, that goes in all my church books. Um, this is, um, let's see here. Just some images that are going to go in the church book. And I don't know what I'll use. I don't know if I'll use them all. I don't know. I have this print hanging in uh, our... Uh, Rec recreation room upstairs um i love that here's the church here's the steeple open the door and see the people um let's see i thought i had one of these that was distressed oh there it is uh this is one without it being distressed you can just shrink these down out of a songbook i mean i guess that's illegal i really don't know but i've got so many old old songbooks you just shrink these down however size you whatever size you want and uh, then take your little dabber or whatever you're going to use and just go around the edges like that with that. So, and this is just a little quote, love quote. Love isn't always perfect. No, it isn't. But boy, is it grand. Okay, this is a book. I bought this book years ago um, at a yard sale. They were a dollar piece. There was 25 of them, I think. And I bought one. Can you believe that? This book is priceless to me. It's from like 1913, and this lady was disabled. She was there with her yard sale stuff, and uh, she has highlighted so many things about having faith through disabilities and all this stuff. I mean, it is, I love this book. I would give anything if I had bought all of her books. And I told you that I've got so many, um, Peter Rabbit and uh, all that, Beatrice Potter, um, bunnies and all um i just i collect old books like this and i have for years and years so i have a lot of bunny images i hope i'm getting everything in here um see there's i've used her a half a dozen times um so i do have and i've got some stickers uh from hobby lobby i think or maybe michael's um, I'm not sure, but uh, I just have all kinds of stuff like that that I have always had. I use this paper punch to do the punches down the side. Let me put this over here. Um, like in the book, I just punch. You might have to do one at a time, depending on how thick your paper is. And I just get them as even as I can, and then you start weaving that in. Some of the little envelopes, I don't take time to make the little fancy envelopes like a, a lot of people make. But you just cut a strip of paper. And I cut it. I like book pages. I love to work with book pages. And if you look at the way you're you're turning it up and folding it, the the words will be in the right order. Some people don't care. Things like that. I'm kind of OCD, and uh, you know, um, just I, I I'm just funny about things like that. And then I um, dab the edges. And uh, sometimes I will crimp this here or put a little, some kind of little design in it or just, um, and do the same thing here. This is going to be a little bit bigger one, a little bit wider, but the same thing. And you can just put a piece of paper down through here with a big quote on it. You don't, or you can decorate it, put a rose there or whatever you want to do. Uh, let's just do a little bit here. 
So are you seeing how I'm doing this? And then if I get done and it is not, because I like grunge, you know, I really like grunge. Let me get this one done and show you. Go around the corner here and here. And then if I get that done and I think, oh my gosh, that looks like almost brand new. It's not good enough. I just go like that. Do a little bit like that. So that's very easy to do. Uh, I don't have very many store-bought things. You couldn't sell me one of those, what do they call them, those bone things that crimps the pages. I mean, gosh, a butter knife will do the very same thing. Or the edge of your scissors. You don't need to spend money on a lot of stuff. Um, this is just a bunch of uh, junk, really. I mean, I have collected buttons for 50 years, and I have got crates of... Uh, small crates, like gallon or two gallon maybe, I don't know how many I've got, that hold buttons and just all kind of little things like this. The bells, I got the bells at Hobby Lobby, but I put them on that paper plate and sprayed them with that stuff. Um, there's pins in here, safety pins in here. Um, just all kinds of things. Okay, and we're almost done because I told you I'd be real quick. I knew this one was going to be, be a little bit longer because I had to explain, but I have very few stamps. I bought this one just about a month and a half ago, and it's that postage card stamp, and I got it uh, with my 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. And let me show you real quick. You know what they do. I do it like this. I don't know how other people do it. Lay a piece of paper over here. And I've got it upside down, but what difference does it make? Okay, because we'll turn it around. So there it is. Does that. Uh, and love. I do the same thing with these. I just uh, dab them. And I hope this works after I did that. Yep, there it goes. Okay, I do it with all of them. And I've got the fern leaf. And I've got this little chicken. I love chickens. I have had chickens off and on through the years, but we live in the country, way out in the country, and the raccoons keep getting my chickens. And there's the little chicken. Let's just put the fern there while we're at it. Um, and sometimes I like to do that with the ferns. I'm not real good with the stamp. Uh, I'll have to get better at it. Whoops, and there goes the camera. I have to get better at that, too. Okay, so that's it. Have we done everything? So what your assignment is for today and tomorrow is if you don't have your book ready, tear your pages, and let's see. You can just take your piece of paper. Here, let's just use one of these over here. And uh, if you want just straight lines, lay this here. Just fold your paper like this. And you don't need that old bone thing unless you've just already got one. Just your fingernail, thumbnail, whatever. Fold it that way. And then that way. And that gives you a little book right there. Now what did I do with the scissors? And then you just trim it here. Just very carefully just to get the top. Let's see, did that get it? Yeah. So there you've got a little book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you've got your little book. So you can either stitch it, open it up in the middle, put the needle up under the bottom so it'll come out here, pull the thread through and use your embroidery thread, put it down over here, pull it on through, back up over here, pull it over here, and back up through and back down through there. Um, I wish I could set this camera up. Maybe if I got a taller tripod, I may try to do that. I didn't even think about that until just now. But uh, if I get a taller tripod, I may be able to do that. So that's what you're supposed to do. Put Get your book together. Decide what you're going to do your book on. Get you together a few little images or whatever. Uh, type you some words out or cut some words out of magazines or whatever. Um, gosh, I don't feel like I've told you very much. But this is what you do. Um, it's nothing. I mean, it is nothing. Anybody can do this. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, see? And then, then you'd put three there if you're going to do the little holes in the side. So, um, let's see. Oh, the, the spray bottle. Oh, the glue. I use Elmer's Glue All. I've tried the tacky glue and I've tried the fan... What is it? Um, fan, not fantastic. It's... Uh, 
<laughs> you know what I mean. It's the the other one that uh, you get it at um, uh, Joann's. But I don't like that glue. I like Elmer's glue all, and it just takes a little bit of glue. Uh, it doesn't take much at all, and that stuff, and you, I spread it down with my finger or a little paper towel, or sometimes I'll use a brush, just an old paint brush, and then wash it out. But I buy the big bottle, of course. I don't buy all these little bottles, but I like, my hands are kind of small, so I work with the little bottle better, and it lasts forever. This little bottle will last forever. So I buy the big bottle, I fill this little bottle up, and just keep it washed out between times so it uh, stays good. This is a spray bottle I buy. I bought it at um, Walmart in the cosmetic department where you get all the sundries over there, the samples and all that. And um, I've used them for several different things, but um, I keep one in the car with just some spritz in there because uh, I, I don't like cologne. And sometimes I take people, these ladies, different places and, and they wear so much cologne and stuff. So I spritz my car with... <laughs> <laughs> baking soda and water. See, you don't even need for a breeze. Baking soda and water will do it. Okay, so uh, I keep a little bit of coffee in that. I put a little bit of coffee in that every day. So if I need to spritz something a little bit more, if I think, oh my goodness, that page looks almost brand new. That's not nearly uh, good enough. So I would just spritz it like that and iron it with the iron. That would make it dark right there. You could do the same thing down here. You could do the whole thing again and iron it with the uh, with the hot iron. I have one iron that I use just for that. Okay, we've gone 21 minutes and I said five, but I knew today was gonna be a little bit longer. I feel like there's so much I didn't tell you. If you have any questions, please post down below. Um, because this is, I'll try to, now that I've showed you kind of pretty well what all I use, this is all I use. I don't have the cutting machines. I have this pair of scissors that I bought uh, several of them for Bible school one year and I kept me a pair. And this is what I use to cut everything uh, or I tear it. Um, so I don't have a lot of, anybody can do what I'm doing because I don't have a lot of uh, little uh, knickknacks and stuff. I'm not even that way in the kitchen. I don't even have a toaster. We make skillet toast. You don't need a lot of, <laughs> I like simple. I like very neat, very cozy, warm and fuzzy, but I like very simple. So um, another look at my, whatchamacallit's over here. Uh, these, I just collect these. I've got just dozens and dozens, all sizes of doilies. Um, these ribbons, uh, you know, you can dunk them in your coffee or you can uh, dab them with your dabber or whatever. Um, I think that's it for today. Uh, get your book ready. Get your images ready. Get your glue, whatever you're going to use. Gather you up just a little bit of lace if you have some. Anything like that that you think you may want to put on there. Gather you up a few buttons and maybe type you up a few words. And just see if you can do the front page tomorrow. If you can do the front page before tomorrow. And maybe the inside if you want to do the inside. Uh, I'll finish up the inside of the church, uh, Old Country Church book. And we'll meet right back here just for about five minutes tomorrow just to touch bases. If you have any questions, post below this video or come to our junk journal page. It's called Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. We'd love to have all of you over there. Uh, we're, we're getting to where we're going to be doing a whole lot of things over there. And uh, we want to be friends over there. We want to be uh, support for each other. We want to be able to ask anybody questions. And uh, nobody be offended because you don't want to tell your secrets. <laughs> Everybody's going to figure this stuff out immediate, uh, eventually anyway. It's no big deal. We could all make the very same book with the very same um, theme and everything. And it, 12 of us could do that. And we would have 12 totally different books. So there's no competition in this stuff. This is just, um, you got to look at my crate over there. Um. I, I just love doing it. I absolutely love doing it. It's been really, really hard this summer because we're into a lot of gardening and, and all that. And so it has been really hard finding the time. So, but fall is right around the corner and uh, things will pick up. Um, okay, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I really would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go and join us over at Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. Gather your stuff together, start you a little book, and let's meet back here tomorrow. If you have any questions, post below or on the Junk Journal from Grandma with Love page. 
and I'll get to you as soon as I can. I have a really busy day, but I'll try to keep an eye on that page. Okay, talk to you later. So sorry this was so long, and I promise tomorrow's going to be about five or six minutes, and the rest of the week will. So um, talk to you later. Love you all. Bye.